morning, I have just finished my bar class. Welcome to the house update vlog. First house update, the boiler was broken this morning. So I spent <laughs> like, oh my goodness, the first like two hours of this morning sat on my sofa like this. I called my builder, I was like, I am so sorry. I'm so cold. And he came over, which was so nice. And basically the boiler just, it's been dodgy the whole time. But then we had the boiler company out. This is so boring if you don't care, I'm so sorry. But they're like, no, it's fine. And then it just every so often just doesn't work. And then I don't realize until it's gotten super cold and I'm like, wait, it shouldn't be this cold. So yeah, the house is now warming back up. I have just done my bar class for the day. And tomorrow I fly to Japan. <laughs> like what? I'm, I'm really slacking. Have not packed a thing. I started to get my toiletry skincare out last night. I uh, don't know what I'm taking. Don't know what I'm wearing. I'm going for like four nights, I think five days. I actually don't know. I need to check, but I'm really excited. And today we have to pack. I have a blow dry book later. I need to go to the opticians. I have so much that I need to do. And I also really want to give you a house update in today's vlog. But the day's just not started how I expected it because obviously I woke up freezing. So took me a while to thaw. Oh, and also on the topic of things breaking, I can't even look at her. She's, she's left me. <laughs> camera that I this is the one I take out and about she has died a horrible death I did oh, I did drop her last night when I was she's been dropped many a time when I was filming my skincare she did fall off my island onto the floor and I don't know if you can see but the screen is like hanging um the problem is Canon don't actually make this camera anymore so in a normal scenario I would just accept the loss because it is like five years old and this is the longest a vlog camera has ever lasted me no not five years <gasps> that might be 2019. Ew, that's strange. Uh, yeah, I would normally just say accept the loss, like definitely got my money's worth and order a new one on next day or literally go into, I don't know, John Lewis, Harrods and go and get one. But they're discontinued. So I was looking at all the secondhand camera shops in London and guess what day of the week? They're not open. Sundays. Guess what day it is today? Sunday. So don't really know what I'm going to do. It's snapped, so I can't even fix it. And the problem is the screen flips around. So if I hold it like this, I have to hold it in a very particular way right now for it to, for me to see what I'm looking at. Otherwise it's upside down. And also I don't even know if the frame's straight now because it's wonky. So yeah. Now I don't plan on vlogging in Japan. I think I might do some like short form vlogs on TikTok, but I don't plan on YouTube vlogging. I might take my V10 with me and vlog on that if I I do choose. I just like to have it because I never know. I might get there and be like, oh, I really want to film a YouTube vlog. So I always just travel with it. But yeah, I might take my V10. I do have to head out today anyway. So I might see if I can find an, a different open camera store. I've looked at like four and they're not open. But yeah, she's, uh, she's left me. I mean, I would love just to get the bracket replaced. Other than that, it's fine. But where can I even do that on a Sunday, you know? Actually though, I could just take it with me because if there was ever a place to get your camera fixed, it is Japan because Canon is Japanese brand. Maybe I do that, see if I can get it fixed there. So I've just spent the last hour or so starting to pull things to pack. And it's not even as though it's a difficult place to pack for. It's a difficult climate mixed with wanting to dress nicely. Like it's very similar to the weather here in London, which is fine. Obviously I know how to dress for that. I dress like that every day, but I don't dress nicely in London. I'm in like a very average outfit with a coat on top. And I don't wanna do that whilst I'm traveling because I want to take pictures and I want to feel nice. So yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle to be like, wait, I wanna wear this, but it might be raining that day or I want to wear this, but I don't know. Anyway, I've started to pull things, I will show you. But I just got this box in. Actually, I got it the other day, I just haven't opened it. By rotation, we're actually looking after my account for the last year, which is really nice of them. And it means I haven't seen any of these pieces. And some of you guys have been wearing them, which is so crazy. We have my dinky little YSL dress, which I love. <gasps> My age dress, oh my goodness, I forgot this. Honestly, I have forgotten that I own half of these things. This is an age dress that I haven't even had the chance to wear yet. I know this has been rented quite a few times. I can't wait to wear that. What else do we have in here? Oh my goodness, so many beautiful things. Reformation, oh, <gasps> my cake dress, 
Shut up, I'm taking this to Japan. <gasps> yes, heck yes, I forgot about this, okay. Well, not only I forgot about them, but I just didn't know where they were. Like, I was like, are they in my storage unit and therefore in the bags up there? Or, <gasps> my beautiful Zimmerman dress. This is my favorite dress that I own. If I had to get rid of every single piece of clothing in my wardrobe and keep only one, it would be between this and the Etro dress. And they're both actually a paisley print, so I must just really like that. But, oh, I adore this. Oh. My goodness, my Cot Gaia dress. What's this one? Oh, my Beckham Bridge dress. I wore this to the James Bond premiere. Oh my goodness. Oh, they just put a lovely note saying they've loved having my bits and it's been cool to see the Biotation community wear them. Oh, my plan is to get these bits back on from Biotation, but I want to put more on. So I figured I'd just look after it all myself, but Yes, I am going to take this black dress upstairs because I'm going to pack that, but everything is still in wonderful condition, which is so great to see. It's so nice when people look after things like the way you would. For now though, they can live there and you are coming upstairs. So this is the packing situ. Don't even ask me why I've decided to pack at the bottom of the stairs. I need to take my suitcase downstairs because I started packing in the drawing room because, well, there's nothing in there right now. And also then I don't have to carry everything downstairs. It's kind of, I never pack in outfits like this, but because it's such a short trip and I have, you know, the amount of baggage I have, I have the privilege of being able to. So I just have, I mean, you'll see all of them on TikTok, but I've just got some like navy trousers, a little cardi. This this is like a black top jeans outfit my of course reformation silk skirt this is massimo and then i just got a blazer and skirt outfit that of course i'm going to do in my docks evening outfits i don't know how dressy i'm going to end up going but i just it's nice to have options i just pop that cake dress in and then shoes wise just a pair of heels my docks my ballet flats i'm gonna do my sambas and then my gym trainers as well this is my like in the hotel travel home outfit and then i have my hansa bikini because I think one of the hotels I'm staying in has a spa, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but it's just good to have, isn't it? And then I do think just for safety, I'm going to add in just some extra t-shirts and bits like that. I've got my gray Adnola one there that I'm going to pop in. Oh, and then I'm taking these boots as well because if I bring those, I can actually wear them with the skirt and the blazer that I've got here. And it just, it's nice. It's a bit of a capsule scenario, uh, but I do need to get a pair of tights because all of mine again have disappeared. And then I need to pack my my skincare, makeup, and all things like that. But I would say I'm feeling pretty sorted. I think because of a lot of what I'm packing is very similar to what I would wear here in London. I'm just a bit like, ah, oh, what have I, what have I worn recently? Let's chuck it in the case, I don't know. But yeah, I'm feeling really put together. I just need to take my suitcase downstairs and we'll start packing it all in. But we'll wait until later. I wanna go and eat something first. And then I want to go and see if there's any opticians open that can, I sort my sunglasses. I don't know if they'll do it. I'm happy to pay for it, obviously, but just they don't, they don't fit my face and it's a real problem so i'm gonna go and do that and then i'm going to pop into space nk see if they've got any palettes and then even in h beauty maybe because i am obviously going to harris to get my hair done which is why it's looking disgusting uh it's, i literally washed it yesterday but when i wash it and i don't do anything with it it just looks messy and i'm not a messy person so i feel like it's a real contrast to me and it just looks weird but yes feeling very very prepared i've got all of my outfits pretty much sorted and most of them are super interchangeable. I'm going to pack a few spare t-shirts and skincare, makeup, camera bits. I'll start a list, but let's go and eat something. I got a parcel and I know what it is because I haven't really ordered anything else. I decided this would be a good idea a silk bonnet. I thought I had one. I thought I had a slip one, but I can't for the life of me find it. So I found one on Amazon and this is what I'm going to wear on the plane to preserve the hair. I survived a flight to Geneva with the hair without anything on it because it's literally an hour flight. But I figured if I am on a long flight, oh no, it doesn't feel that stretchy. Oh no. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that over my hair. We will try. If not, I'm gonna try and wrap it with something else because 14 hours is a very long time to be on an airplane and I just feel like my hair will get me messed up. If not, I, I'll bring this with me and if I can't get it on, I will go to the slip section in Harrods and see if they have one of those. If not, I have to wrap it with something. I don't know what, like wear a freaking beanie or something. <laughs> I want coffee and I want some yogurt. That is what I'm fancying. eat this first. This is the handiest little camera ever. I need to just commit and use this instead of this, really. I think I'm going to try it with my external mic. 
because I think with the combination of the external mic and, but not that the audio is bad at all, it's really not, but with the combo of the external mic and the size of this, I just think, it's also a very wide lens, I think it, it, it'd be a good vlog. I, I reckon I could go to Japan without you, camera, and just take this. And if I did decide to vlog for the day, I'd be able to create some really awesome, you know, a really awesome vlog. I just have commitment issues at camera changes. That is simply all it is. Really, I should have committed to using this full time and got rid of this one a year ago. But I've always dabbled between. Actually, to be fair, I still dabble with my G7X as well though. I mean, they all fit together really well because they're all part of the Canon ecosystem. So it's not like you can really, like really tell unless you know. But with like, say if I then whacked out a Sony into the mix, you'd be able to tell the Sony clip from the Canon clips a mile off. Okay, let's put on charge. They didn't have the palette. I was like, oh my goodness, I found something because they didn't have an empty one in space in case. So I just kind of admitted defeat and decided to buy one. And I found that nice one at Mac and they don't have it. I'm home and look at my hair. How crazy. I don't know if the silk bonnet that I bought is going to fit on it, but we shall see. I get my hair done, I say, I've had it this the second time, by Chloe at Dry Bar in Harrods, and she is amazing. So if you want to go and get it done, just when you book in at Dry Bar, you can like request someone on like the final page, just put Chloe please, or kind of please have Chloe, and then you will get her. But yeah, I'm back. I just had, like I sat in the chair and had like a momentary panic that I was going to forget my passport because it was in my barber jacket so we have it i'm getting excited now I was a bit stressed earlier but like not like stress stress just more like i have so much to do and now i've done it all so i just have to pack and like actually put everything in the suitcase i need to eat some dinner i actually need to wash my laptop case i like it's got stuff all over it just from traveling I tend to carry it when I'm at the airport and then I just put it down random places and it gets dirty So I need to clean that and then yeah The only thing I wasn't able to do today was the sunglasses Which is a bit of a shame because the Celine ones don't actually fit on my face. They just pop off. It's really strange Please can anybody tell me if they've had this I have asked so many of my friends to try them on and the same thing happens. They wear them and they just pop forward and I, I don't know maybe I should try like hair drying them everyone last night i landed back from japan and i thought we would continue this vlog you are still on the wonky broken camera however whilst i was in japan i did manage to order another one and it's waiting for me at the post office so we can go and collect that today which i am so happy about i've also decided that i am going to try and get a bracket like a new bracket for this body and get this fixed and then we can have two vlogging cameras on rotation which means when i go somewhere i can hand someone else one camera and be like, hey, actually, no, I only have one lens. I have to get another lens. And then we can get a different perspective. I feel like every vlog right now is literally, so I landed back from here. <laughs> and I'm realizing I didn't take you to Morocco. I didn't take you to Japan. However, I do leave to somewhere else on Tuesday and I will be taking you there, which this trip, oh my goodness, I'm so excited for. And it's going to be so good and I will be vlogging it. But yeah, the last two, I just, I, I vlogged over on TikTok. So if you want to see what I got up to, you can go and have a look on there. But I thought we would continue the house update vlog because whilst I was away, my sofas got delivered, which I'm so excited about. And we're going to have to do a bit of rearranging, decide where they're going to go. And it means now I have the, like, the large pieces of furniture. We can start actually, you know, furnishing the room with, like, the soft furnishings and the little things. I have really decided that I, I need a lot more, kind of, like, fabrics and textures in my rooms. And 
and even in this room I feel like that and like in my bathroom I'd love to get some kind of like blind situ or like curtain situ things to warm the space up but it's exciting Japan was a dream I will without a doubt be going back to Tokyo it was not what I expected in the slightest it was a million times more than I could have ever imagined the people were incredible the food was incredible I feel like I experienced so much that I wanted to but there's also so much more that I want to experience that I really am like so desperate to go back already and I don't feel like that always with places but that was such a huge bucket list tick for me and I feel like it's still on my bucket list because there's so much more I want to do I would love to ski there as well that would be a dream I really would love to do a trip to Mount Fuji and I didn't even do Tokyo Disney or anything whilst I was there I was literally like in Tokyo and yeah it was just so much fun but it is Sunday today I arrived back last night and I'm just trying to be very kind to myself today I was on the phone to my mom last night so basically I landed yesterday at like 5 p.m uk time and I mean it took me a while to get home and collect my bags and everything because oh wait, about the baggage reclaim situation Heathrow or are we, are we not gonna? I feel like if I start that conversation, it'll be a conversation I never stop. Let me just say, in the last few weeks, I have not waited less than an hour and a half to collect my bags. An hour and a half. I don't know how I get to baggage reclaim before my bags get to baggage reclaim. But I said to my mum on the phone last night, I am gonna let myself sleep until I want in the morning. Um, yeah, I was up at five. Not even for jet lag, because that, because that makes no sense. But I actually, I mean, my foot is still majorly swollen. We don't do free feet on this channel, but I, the water retention, I actually did wear so much uh, like compression gear on the plane i doubled up and my legs are fine and my ankles are fine but my feet it's i think it might be the longest flight i've ever done it's 14 hours and we were delayed and we were sat on the plane for a little bit so i think i was sat in that plane seat for about 15 and a half hours which is kind of dangerous really so i'm gonna do my bar this morning we're gonna keep it moving and then i think we're gonna drive ourselves to the dusty knuckle in dalston and get a freaking pan of chocolat because that is gonna make me happy how many times have I dropped you today? Too Do many. you want to say hello to my vlog? Morning, everyone. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It's the, that's only the first phone call of the day. Yeah. It's always the first, the last, the middle ten. I think the last week I've, I've, I haven't called you one. Oh, no, I have. <laughs> oh, yes, you <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I'll speak to you later. I love you. All right. I love you. Bye, have a good day. Okay, I'm barred and I'm ready and I'm wrapped up because it's one degree out there. Also, nails still looking fantastic. I genuinely thought they were going to trip, or, trip, chip on my trip. They didn't. I've just uh, done a little flicky flick with my hair. My And Other Stories scarf, Montclair, Massimo. I've also lost my navy cashmere jumper, which was from Uniqlo. I don't know why that is. And it's really bothering me because it was a very staple part of my wardrobe. So I need to ask my mother if it's at home. And then I'm just wearing some Reformation jeans and my golden goose. I am going to drive to the station. I was going to drive to the Dusty Knuckle, but I'm going to drive to the station instead and get on the public transport there. Just because, firstly, I can multitask if I do that. Secondly, I need to pop to Harrods, which I feel like in every vlog, I pop to Harrods like I pop to Tesco. I promise that is not the reality of my life. I actually have to go today and buy a piece of tech. That's why I'm going. I don't pop there to buy like a, I don't know, like a freaking Louis Vuitton bag. Like last time I popped there to get my hair done. And I don't know, I just, it's my department store of choice. So yeah, it's, um, I'm not just popping in every few days to go and buy a new piece of designer clothing or a new designer bag. I have to go and buy some tech. So yes, let's make a move. Okay, change of plan. I was literally on my way to the Dusty Knuckle and one of my colleagues that I need to meet for work in like the few days I'm back, Walk back to me she said she'll meet me today even though it's a Sunday so I obviously am going to take them up on that I'm not going to say no so I am making a swift pit stop in South Ken and I'm going to grab a press on here from somewhere and you know that's enough of me today but I'm very grateful that they will see me on a Sunday and I can take this off and I'm literally just pulling up at Harrods and I'm going to go and try and get hold of the piece of tech that I need. Fingers crossed that they have it. It's like I never left. In the first half of the vlog, I was getting my hair. 
well, my friends. That was uber productive. It is like just before 1 p.m. and I smashed out everything. We have the new camera to unbox. And as you saw, I went and got some pastries. Basically, what happened as I kind of already explained to you was I was en route to go to the Dusty Knuckle and I basically got a call from someone that I needed to meet work-wise and obviously it is Sunday so I wasn't expecting that and they were like yeah I actually you know can make today happen and there was no way I was going to turn that down so I rerouted to them and went and did that instead and on the way there I popped into Philippe Con Contesini I think it's called in South Ken and I got a selection of goodies now I ate one of them on the tube which was really good and then I am going to try a couple of them but I actually wanted to get a selection so I could take some to my friends and I have a couple of neighbors that are just really lovely and take my parcels for me when they really don't need to so I just wanted to deliver them some baked goods as well however for myself I shall be keeping one of the pen of chocolates, which these look so good. Now, I'm not a fan of a shiny top on a pan of chocolat, I will say, but it does look very good. So I got two of those, so one of those is for me. And then I also got a cinnamon bun. This is for one of my neighbours. I know she'll love that. And then I got a brownie. I shall be keeping this. Yum, we can try some of that together. I also got one of those really famous, you know, the pull apart pastries. I'm actually going to see M tomorrow, so I got that for her. And then I got a chocolate chip cookie. Again, this is for one of my neighbors. And then I also got another cookie. This was the, I think, the peeping cookie. Again, for my neighbor. So, yeah, that's my little haul. And I think everybody that I bought the bits for really liked them. But yeah, the one that I ate on the tube was like a feta cheese. Gosh, this is heavy. This is, this is really weighty. Yeah, it was a feta cheese pastry and it was really good. But look, is anything really going to beat the Dusty Knuckle for me ever? Probably not. Their pastries are just elite. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go and give them a Google. Everything they do for the community is just incredible. I'm just honestly such a big fan. And yeah, I'm sure I'll get there soon. So, let's open. Now to everybody on Instagram that was telling me that I should use this time to upgrade my camera. I will be, but because I have so many trips coming up literally immediately, I didn't really have a choice. I, you know, I needed a camera. I do really want to buy the Canon R8, but I haven't had a chance to look into the lenses or anything. And I really love that look of like a super wide lens because most vlog cameras, I like this <laughs> and it's like as much as I know you're you know you're okay with seeing my face that you know you're watching this I really think it's important that you can actually see what's going on around me because otherwise where's the context so let's see apparently this was in wonderful condition so that's what I'm looking for as long as the screen's not hanging off then we're doing better already is there a strap that's important to me yes there is a strap and it's Unused. It said yes, it's unused. Wonderful. Okay. Aww. Ooh, she's a little dirty. A little, maybe it's just dust. Yeah, it's dust. She's dusty. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give her a good disinfect and set her up with all my favorite settings. And oh, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had a screen that does that. The screen broke when I lived in my place in Stratford, but it like bent, so it didn't really fold away properly, but I could still use it normally. So I was like, oh, it's fine. But it almost kind of always sat like this. Uh, and obviously then the other day I had the dire thing and now, yeah, but I'm very, very happy. But it means we're ready for action. I'm gonna give it a disinfect, set all the settings, and then we'll be ready to go. And it means I can vlog my upcoming trips, which is very good. Because I feel like as much as you can go and watch what I've been up to the last few days on TikTok and Instagram, I do like having just the memories here. And we're back in business, everybody. It feels so good. The craziest thing about this camera is there was a real time where I resented it. I remember doing a video just after the pandemic being like, I think I need a new camera. I hate vlogging because of this camera. Like I genuinely at one point was convinced I didn't enjoy vlogging at that moment because I didn't enjoy the camera. But I really like this camera. So I, it was clearly a me problem and I'm very happy to have this setup back. However, in saying that, I am very excited to look for an upgrade 
upgrade. But I feel like I would rather wait and look for the upgrade whilst I, you know, can still share my life with you. But this is the old one that I am going to get fixed. Can you see? So for a while it was just like this. So it just wouldn't fold in completely. And then the other day she, she lost. It, but it really is such a simple fix all of it is just the bracket the actual body itself is fine so what i'm going to try and do is get another lens and then we will have a multi-vlog setup which may sound unnecessary but i promise you absolutely will not be so yeah that is on the list to fix but i also need to put the strap on you actually i'm going to put a new uh tripod on you as well it's like i'm dressing you that's a bit weird isn't it i shouldn't have said that <laughs> Are you ready for the house updates? I mean, I already told you about the dodgy boiler, but besides that, we have some very fun things. I feel like one of the things you probably saw in the last vlog, but I just, just didn't say anything about it. I feel like if I don't talk about it, it's not happened. <laughs> I have a TV on my wall. How exciting. So this is the bracket that I bought from Harrods. It's a Samsung bracket. So the TV does actually tilt side to side. I can fully pull it out. I can lean it down. I can tilt it up, which is just going to be so handy and then when it's pushed back against the wall it's pretty like flush with the wall let me show you so this is how close to the wall it is which i think is very good going considering i can tilt it up i can tilt it down i can you know see it either side so i'm over the moon about that and also so so happy with the size that i went for i had two different tvs to pick from because i had two and there was one that i was going to put my snug and one in here and i'm just over the moon it's it's literally perfect i mean i'm obviously i'm stood slightly to the side right now so it looks off center but yes i think it fits the wall perfectly i do need to decide what i'm doing down here currently i've just got my fortnum's hamper which honestly i don't hate but i do want to get some kind of insert in there i just don't know what i've been looking at a lot of uh, very expensive marble ones which is just not a good idea but for now this looks cute and then a couple days ago i was graced by the sofa.com gods and my sofas were delivered now i pondered on this decision for so long and when i finally got there i was like okay and i am so confident with what i've picked so they were all delivered on friday friday i wasn't here which meant i wasn't able to select which room they were going into however we will we will do that we will get there but my sofas so this is the bluebell sofa yes it's the same as the one in the snug and yes the green does not look good with this green wall so this is going into the snug and then the one from the snug which is the it's like a herringbone weave i don't I can never remember which color i went for but that is going in here and that's the same color as this so i'm going to do it will be this color in here sofa this is going into the kitchen uh in the snug and then i have this which is a love seat again the blue bowl range and i really just wanted a pink sofa i really did and this felt like a great compromise i actually am going to put this in my pink room and it's a sofa bed which is very exciting i really didn't know whether i wanted to go for a sofa bed or not and i actually went into the sofa.com showroom and just asked the question i was like does it feel different like you know am i gonna notice and they basically said if it's a sofa you're going to sit on all day every day buy a sofa if it's a sofa that you're going to use but you also want to use as a bed get a sofa bed and they said it is slightly firmer but it's not like it's uncomfortable they were like oh, we just wouldn't you know we wouldn't sell it i actually love that though because these sofas are very soft and obviously you can plump them back up and they look great my one in the uh in the snugs like over a year old and it still looks wonderful but i kind of love the idea that it's slightly firmer which means maintenance wise i'm like fluffing it less which i'll take so yeah i have one more thing to show you this is cody's sofa it is a mini version of my big sofa this is so exciting and he is going to love it i also thought we could carry this through to the snug and just have a look how the color is going to look in there but how cute is this cody is going to absolutely die so this is my other bluebell sofa that i actually had delivered last vlogmas i'm pretty sure and like i definitely vlogged the delivery it was when i was in my stratford place and i love this sofa it's one of my favorite purchases and i literally have zero 
of regrets, which is why I was so confident to get the same style again, just in a different color. But what I wasn't confident on was the color, which is why it took me so long. And I knew I wanted to get a color because I had this and I knew this could go in the drawing room. And I have just brought the Cody size one into the kitchen and let me show you how it looks. I was, I like my only concern was, is it going to clash with the kitchen? And I would say it absolutely does not. So that's his current bed and his like doggy toys there. And this is the color of the sofa. Isn't it just adorable? I don't know where I'm gonna place that yet. I'm gonna actually put it here at the end of the island and have a little like Cody section. That would be really sweet. But I have so much that I can do with this room, but I think I'm going to put the other Bluebell sofa here. And then here, hello Flossy, I am going to hopefully have like a built-in unit, that's the dream, almost like a dresser where I can have plates displayed and I don't know, like cookery books and then yeah, have the TV in it as well with the sofa this side and then may maybe some kind of coffee table footstool situation, I'm not entirely sure. Stop it actually stop it and then with regards to other house updates my bathroom didn't end up getting wallpapered in january i don't recall if i told you this or not but basically the decorator had an accident and he couldn't work for six weeks so instead of like he told me to go and find someone else he was like it's fine but i kind of just thought like i'm in no rush and if he can't work for six weeks it's kind of nice to know that you've got some guaranteed work after that period. So I just said to him, look, I'm literally in no rush, it's fine. If you still would like to do it, like I'm totally fine waiting. So I put that on hold, which I don't mind, but you know, I'm still getting it done. And then the other bits and bobs, I have my cupboard being fitted in my laundry area, hopefully in the next few weeks. And then what else? I need to get fabric for the inside of my dressing room cupboards. That's really important. I really would love to do that and get it done asap and also i have a wall here that i really want to get like an antique custom mirror for ah also glass top for my island i need to get some like other glass bits sorted for my shower in my uh ensuite and then mirrors actually for both my bathrooms i need like just bathroom mirrors they are huge things i haven't sorted and then the next step after that like those things is to get my bedroom kind of refreshed for spring and finished because obviously i stole the rug from my bedroom put it in the drawing room which i'm very happy with that decision but it means my bedroom just feels a bit empty and i definitely like need to do something about that i'm back from an evening walk it was very lovely but it's very cold out there at the moment i feel like it's been so mild actually or maybe i just haven't been here and now it just feels very cold but i'm gonna go and run myself a lovely bath and hop into bed because tomorrow's monday and i have a very busy monday i have so much happening like i cannot wait to fill you in it might look like i'm here there and everywhere but i'm here there and everywhere and I'm also here, there, and everywhere in like, in my actual like here life, which is so crazy. So I have just been sat doing my diary a little bit and trying to book in to see all my friends. I literally was just texting Dom and she's like, does the 29th still work? I'm like, yes, the 29th still works. She's like, okay, wonderful. Cause I'm getting booked up and I'm like, okay, me too. We're locking that in. Like it's how mad that I have to wait like a month to see my friends. Like, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I need to like change my life up. That's not, that's not a vibe, but anyway, I am going to love you and leave you. I am very, very tired. Also, this is proof that jet lag is a myth because I got up at 5.30 today after getting back from Japan. It is now 9.45 p.m. and I am ready for bed. So jet lag is, it, it's a mental thing. You can beat it. That is my opinion. And I'm sure you're about to tell me I'm really wrong, but I just don't, I don't experience it. Maybe I will one day, who knows? But thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you've made it this far, it would mean the world if you would give it a thumbs up. So many of you gave the last one a like and hope you don't mind that this was literally like the first day of the week and the last day of the week. You know that annoys me, but it just kind of happened this week. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you so very soon, probably in another country. Good night.